Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Phil Shocker, the 96 Hedgehog here with a very special video. First off, can you guys hit that like button and subscribe to join the Phil Shocker crew today because you would be hanging with the best of the Phil Shocker crew. So, we are here to rank the Gen 8 Pokedex. And this is primarily on all the new Pokemon and the Galarian forms. I've seen other people do this. I personally want to do this too because I want to get my opinions out there as well. So how I want to do this is based on the line itself. And I'm going to base this off of personal usage from this game because I've used a pretty good decent amount of these Pokemon. Designs. And maybe what I think from competitive standpoints. So if you guys are hyped for this video, like I said, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's get into it. So first off, Grookey. I will say this. I don't hate any of the three starters. For... Grookey's cute, so I'll say he's okay. Uh, same thing with Flacky. Um, I actually think Rillaboom is actually pretty great. It's a pretty good Pokemon. Drum Beating is a really good ability, is a really good move for the fact that it lowers speed. It really can help speed control a lot of teams as well. And plus, having the hidden ability of Grassy Surge, I feel like this is the Nelomon that is the better is somewhat of a better Boo because it can hit so much harder than Boo. I feel like so. Is that, um, Score Bunny. Um, score is okay. Ram Raboot for me is well not the best. Uh, it's pretty great because I love the design. I actually think Cinderus is one of the best Pokemon ever. I will say design wise, it was one of the baddest. But the thing it gets its signature move and the way it just moves and attacks, and it's it's just so cool. That Pyro animation is sweet. And of course, since I am Team Sobble, they are all three of them have to go in the best. Like. The fact that this is a secret agent Pokemon, I love that. Like, and literally, GoldenEye007. Like, don't at me, because that is the best nickname ever for this Pokemon. Uh, Rookie D. Uh, Rookie D is okay. I think it's really good. Squire again, is a really great Pokemon. And, of course, I think some of the best Pokemon out there is definitely 100% Corviknight. This thing is so great. It literally is, like, the whole process of your night. Because you start off as like the rooks of the rooks of the kingdom that work your way up. Then you go into a Corvus Squire who is the knight in training. And then you officially become a knight, becoming a Corvus Knight. Which, if you really look at it, is basically armor surrounding Corvus Squire. Which makes sense why Corvus Knight is in that sense of the regard. Squobit, I really don't like it. <clears throat> Read in, don't like. Wooloo, I'll say could have been better. By the way, the could have been better is by design and maybe what they could have done. I don't like double, really. Um, Gothisler, I'll say okay, just for the fact that it's shiny is actually really sick. And Eldegoss, I'll say could have been better. Nicket, I'm okay with. I'm okay with this thing. Uh, Feeble, really okay. I don't know how I quite feel about it. It's decent, but not terrible. Uh, Yamper is definitely great. And Boltlin, the best. This thing is so cute. It is so awesome. And I love how it literally has a lightning bolt of tail that goes up its body when it comes to doing attacks. I love that. It is something we really needed for electric types to shine in that sense of regard. I really like that. Milkry, uh, yeah, I'm not a really big fan. Um, I won't say Alcream is the worst. I think it could have been a little better, but I'm not really the fan. Uh, Blip Bug, it yeah, could have been a little bit better. Same thing with Dotler. But I actually think Orbeetle, I think he's pretty great. I think he's really cool. The fact that this is a decent mod to get screens, and just the way it's just really good bulky psychic type. The one thing that I feel makes it from, I feel like I could put it in okay, because of the fact that its speed tier is pretty much, I believe, like six between 60 and 75, I think it was like that. Which, you would think with this Pokemon being so small and light, you think it would be a fast Psychic type with frail defenses? It's quite the opposite. It actually has strong defenses, but a weak speed tier. And I just, I don't know. I feel like this thing should have been faster, in my opinion. So, there's that. Uh, more Peko. Or more Pico, whatever you say. Uh, I guess could have been better. It would have been another pretty decently good mod. Uh, Chudo. 
I really don't like the design. Dreadnought, though, I think is pretty dang great. He's a really good Stronghold one. I just don't feel something for Chudo like I think everyone else does. And there are some of these Pokemon that I have not tried before, so be in mind with that. Uh, Hantana, maybe could have been a little better. Uh, same thing with Hatterene. Han Hatterena, or I don't know how it's... I'll say it's okay. I, I kind of like the design of a witch Pokemon and stuff like that. I feel like it's really clever, pretty cool. But I just, I just don't know. I mean, I maybe will try to draft it one day, but I don't know. Aracuda definitely is great. And Barascuda is the best. One of... It, it's The thing that it gets Swift Swim and has already base 136 speed. This makes Scarpers... Look pathetic. It does. I like it. It really is. It's definitely weird, but it is what it is. Uh, Cramorant. Eh, could have been better. I'm not really the biggest fan of this thing. I like the idea and the concept of its ability, but I just don't really feel anything for this thing. I really don't. It's not really my go-to. Uh, Silicobra. It eh, could have been better. Sanaconda, I would say is okay. I've never really tried it. I almost drafted it in the draft league before, but it's just, I, I don't know. It's just, I don't know how I feel quite about this Pokemon. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Sinisee is definitely pretty great. I think the fact that we actually have a teacup Pokemon is pretty cool. Uh, Pulte guys I'll also say is really great as well. Um, I really think the concept between a teapot, tea tea kettle Pokemon, and the fact that it learns a move called Tea Time is uh, really cool. I really like the idea of it. It's really awesome, and I really think it's a really good Pokemon. What stops it from being the best is just, I wish, I wish we got at least another ability of some sort with it. Uh, Roly Coley, I definitely think is great. Uh, Carcoal, I think it's okay. Um, and then Colossal, I'll also say Colossal is pretty okay. Um, I'm kind of a fan of the design, but I wish the fact that we missed out on a, on a little steam engine train was just so disappointing. If we literally had got a train Pokemon, first off, I mean, you can argue what one of these is going to obviously be, but the fact that we missed out on a train Pokemon is really sad, and I really wish we did get that train Pokemon because it would be so dope. Like, it literally would be so dope, bro. I really hope we do. Because I think a train Pokemon would be really cool. And I think it would since the UK has got a train based around there. Uh, Q-Font is definitely great. It is so cute. And I think that Kaparaja, for me... I'm going to put it in great. I'm not going to put it in best because of the fact that it does have really kind of bad defenses of sorts. But it's definitely great for the fact that Sheer Force is really cool. That's one of its natural abilities. I love, I do like the design. It looks like an atomic elephant. And the fact that we finally have another elephant Pokemon. Thank you, Game Freak. It's been how long since we gotten one? Since what? Generation 2? Generation 2, we went with basically six generations for another elephant Pokemon. A real tried and true elephant, too. Not to disrespect Dom Man. Dom Man, when you look at it, it's not really kind of that much of an elephant. I mean, it does have the tusk and has a bit of a short snout of a nose and everything. But it really didn't scream an elephant. This literally screams elephant. And I, I am really looking forward uh, to using it in the draft league that I showed you guys before. If you didn't know, the XBDL, just to make sure you guys know about that. Um, but yeah, I think right now this is going to be part one. We got through, I would probably say, yeah, we got through well, close to about half of the decks. I'm pretty sure. Actually, let's go off. Let's go. Let's try to get a few more in. Um, the infinite line real quick. Um, I would say infinite's great. Morgrum is great. Grim Snarl, 100% the best. Um, Toxel, Toxel's okay, and then last but not least, Toxtricity, do we even need to argue, the best, one of the best Pokemon ever, and I love this thing, so, yeah, that's gonna be for part one of this video, you guys stay in tuned for part two, as we finish rating these Gen 8 Pokemon, if you guys can, hit the like button, subscribe, join the first shop crew today, 
Until next time, I've been Phil Shock of the 96 Hedgehog. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, guys.